The temperature of the ocean water in the tropical Pacific Ocean west of South America is already warmer than normal, which is a condition known as El Nino. A new climate model developed at the National Center for Atmospheric Research is predicting that warming will continue into December, becoming one of the warmest or strongest El Ninos in history. It's very much the case that the stronger the El Nino, the greater the impacts. Research scientist Steve Yeager says that when an El Nino warms more than two degrees Celsius above normal, it's often referred to as a super El Nino. That's only happened three other times since 1970. His new prediction model shows this winter's El Nino could rival those super El Nino seasons, which is important to know because he says strong El Nino conditions can result in some reliable weather patterns over the winter months. In particular, wetter than normal weather in the southwestern states and warmer than normal weather in the north. So how does Colorado fit in? I personally wouldn't want to make a prediction about what's going to happen in Colorado, and I get asked that a lot. And I, you know, Colorado is kind of right in between this, this zone where we see strong impacts, and so it could go either way. He says there's just not enough examples of super El Ninos in our past to make a connection for small areas like cities and states. But the key to predicting winter weather patterns in the future will likely depend on accurately predicting the strength of each incoming El Nino, which is something his new model has already shown skill with in simulations. You know, our science is kind of coming to fruition in terms of being actionable, being useful to society, which is, which is a very gratifying thing. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.